Looks like a beautiful morning out there. Too bad the grass is so wet. I'd go out there and plant a couple trees. But since it's uh, pretty gross out there, I figured I would change these horribly, hideously worn out wheel bearings <laughs> in the ox. That's what it's supposed to look like, and <laughs> it was really sloppy. There's a problem sometimes when you turn right, the uh, right hand wheel can lock like till it's like <laughs> vertical and then the progress of the progress forward jerks to a stop and you are going nowhere until you put it in reverse and back up. So I've got a new tie rod. I'll pop that in plus those two wheel those new wheel bearings and I should that should fix the problem. Good times. You know there's a little secret that I'm sure you guys probably know about by now about how I live my life and that is to concentrate on the things that you like and and sort of sort of uh, sort of bask in a sense of appreciation and and just just understand uh, some people call it gratitude but you know some people are not religious and they don't have anybody to be grateful to you know but uh, just a sense of gratitude I know it sounds hokey <laughs> about just enjoying where you are and just kind of like just just kind of enjoying where you are you know like and appreciating the place you have in the world and the place you have in life because man it could be so much worse <laughs> it could be so much worse even if you're like uh you know totally you know extremely poor as i once was <laughs> and um just just sort of enjoy and and work on the things that you enjoy and and sort of build upon them and there's this there's this thing that I've found to be true um, in my own experience and that is the things that you concentrate on and the things that you enjoy and and put your effort into those things can tend to get bigger <laughs> so uh, and, uh, and the same thing goes with problems if you're like constantly you know like uh, feeling bad about certain aspects of your life that they they tend to get bigger <laughs> so there you go I plan on uh, as soon as the grass dries out it's pretty wet out there um, I'm gonna go out there and uh, plant a couple of trees I've got a mulberry tree that I'm gonna be putting in and I've got hazel a hazelnut tree as well and um, the cool thing about the mulberry tree, it'll serve two purposes. It'll be out there uh, next to that cherry tree. See that really tall, thin cherry tree by the uh, by that recycle bin there. <clears throat> Basically, I, I'm going to keep that, and it's a naturally seeded cherry tree. And um, then I'm going to plant a mulberry tree a little bit that way to it. And um, then when the mulberries are ripe, uh, the birds prefer the mulberries to the cherries. And then basically they will, uh, they'll sort of gravitate over toward the mulberry tree and start grabbing the, one, the little mulberries that are too high for me to reach. <clears throat> and they totally ignore the cherries then. Apparently birds vastly prefer mulberries over cherries <laughs> so uh, while they're pecking away at the mulberries that I can't reach I'll be in on the orchard ladder and uh, harvesting the cherries that that I can reach and then of course the cherries that are way up there that I can't reach those are for the uh, for the birds and for the uh, squirrels you know because the squirrels Apparently they like to harvest the cherry and then uh, I don't know if they eat the fruit or not, but they uh, 
They like to keep the uh, cherry pit as a nut and then they bury it all over the place. <laughs> and apparently that's what propagates a lot of cherry trees because <laughs> they just bury the, the thing and hide the cherry and uh, in hopes that it will, uh, they'll find it in the winter time, right? <clears throat> so basically the mulberry does two purposes. It, it provides mulberries and it, uh, and it draws the, ch the birds away from the cherry tree and it will, and there's a third purpose too. <laughs> the leaves are actually, they both, they actually have protein and they have some carbohydrates to them and you can boil them up like spinach. So in like if we have a, like a zombie apocalypse or food becomes dramatically more expensive than it is now, which I expect it to, to do so. Um, uh, basically, I'll be able to go out there and pick a bowl of those mulberry leaves and boil them up like spinach and it would be a big addition to my diet. And it would be massively nutrient dense because it's like, it'll be grown in a natural setting and I'll have natural uh, processes which are, which are feeding the tree with uh, like, uh, like spillover from the pond uh, where ducks and whatnot will be swimming and all that nitrogen will be able to go uh, when it rains it'll it'll be flushed out into the rest of the yard and around the mulberry tree then of course I'll have the companion planting for the mulberry tree like the uh, like uh, those nitrogen fixing plants plus uh, nutrient accumulators like comfrey which I'll chop and drop and then uh, Basically, it'll prevent the natural enemy of trees, which is grass, <laughs> uh, from uh, from basically growing around the uh, the drip line of the tree. So yeah, good times. Um, yeah, uh, so it'll be it'll have three uses. It'll be uh, a diversion. It'll provide fruit, and it'll provide leaves. And uh, I'm not sure if there's that's something I would eat all the time, but it would be something that uh, that would really come in handy along with all the other things like the uh, like the Chinese yams and whatnot uh, when the time comes when food is more expensive than it is today basically so thought I'd throw that out there <laughs> um, yeah so to reiterate uh, I I think that it really improves your overall life if you spend just if you just take a moment every day or so that to it just just go ah, and enjoy the place where you are and have a sense of appreciation of whatever it is that you appreciate about your life and then that will tend to be nurtured along and then eventually you'll just find you're overflowing with with abundance and awesome things so um, let's see uh, what else oh yeah and uh, then the three purposes of the mulberry tree and I'm doing my wheel bearings so I'm hoping you're enjoying your your Sunday man I wanted to go out to breakfast today but then I looked at my calendar and it said Mother's Day every freaking restaurant in within in North America is just gonna be jammed jammed to the gills so i just went ah, okay and we had to cook our breakfast here <laughs> oh well <laughs> yeah i think i'll get back on this wheel bearing replacement then my dad's going to be mowing the lawn later today i'm going to do some wood chipping and uh and i'm going to plant those trees later <laughs>